Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details, and we are finally doing an update video for you on our Underdog Pro. I coded my neighbor's Jeep last March 2021, and we did a maintenance wash on it one month after, but we are now May 2022, or 14 months later after we've applied our Underdog Pro coating. We're doing a very quick walk around just to kind of assess the vehicle. You can see it's pretty dirty. I want to see if when we go ahead and do our inspection wash. I want to see if the coating hydrophobics, what they're looking like. I want to see if we're going to be able to blast off a lot of this heavier road film, road boogers stuck on dirt on our lower panels uh, with high pressure alone. I want to see if we're having any sort of hard water staining or mineral deposits that are clogging the coating. Uh, we have well water in our neighborhood, which tends to be very hard water. They wash their vehicle out in the sunlight a lot of times, and so there may be some issues with hard water stains that we have to address. So we're going to go ahead and get set up. I'll share with you guys how I'm going to address doing a maintenance wash and inspection on the coating. But you can see we've got a little bit of work cut out for us. They have said that maintenance is a ton easier. The vehicle doesn't get as dirty as quickly, and when they do wash it, they have been able to do it quickly. Customer uses just a standard hose. They don't use a pressure washer and they try to do it out of direct sunlight. I'm not seeing any sort of water spotting issues on the paint. The customer said that there's been no issues that they've been able to notice. We do have a lot of road film and splatter. Like I said, it's been about three weeks since the Jeep has been washed. So we're first going to do tires, wheels, wheel wells, get those out of the way. And then we'll bring you in for a closer look at kind of our high pressure rinse, how easily it can blast off some of the kind of road boogers and, and road film and splatter on our lower panels. When it comes to washing it, we are going to be using the Gion Restart Wash today. Now this is a decontamination shampoo. This is great for if you have a coating and you're wanting to do a chemical decon while you wash it, this is gonna help remove any sort of light bonded contaminants on the paint. That way our coating is gonna perform at top notch. If you are looking for a great soap to maintain your underdog coating with, obviously their underdog soap is going to be a great option, but that doesn't mean that you have to stick with just this soap. Customers been maintaining with Extreme Solutions their Extreme Sud Soap and Topper. I don't have any more of the Extreme Sud Soap. I've actually transitioned over to the Phoenix EOD line and customers have actually been maintaining with Apex Auto Wash and the Titan Hybrid Detailer. This is going to give you a touch more gloss and durability than Topper, but just as easy to apply. Uh, I, my customers have been using this and loving it. So these are products that we've kind of transitioned over for maintenance for our coating. So we've got our drying towels ready to go. We've got our auto fiber microfiber wash mitt. We're gonna go ahead and get set up and we will show you what she looks like. So we are going to have some clogging from road film. So once we do our contact wash, again, we're going to be able to see uh, more of the true hydrophobics and the characteristics versus it being clogged with any sort of soiling on the vehicle. So let me just talk you through what I'm seeing as I do my initial spray down. I am seeing that a lot of the stuck on debris is blasting off very easily with high pressure water alone. So that's good to see. That's what a coating is meant to do, make maintenance a lot easier. So that way I don't have to be as aggressive when I come in to do my contact wash, which is gonna help reduce the risk of swirls and scratches. I am seeing some clogging on our lower panels, which that is normal with any protection you have on there via wax, sealant, or coating. If it has too much dirt or road film accumulate on your lower panels or trunk, you're going to have the hydrophobics really stunted. And that's where a good contact wash is going to come in handy. The better you maintain your coating or any protection on your vehicle, the better it's going to last. But that's where you want to use proper things. You want to avoid automatic car washes that have strong pH soaps. But you want to do a good contact wash with a pH friendly or ceramic friendly soap. That's going to go a long way with keeping the hydrophobics looking top notch, also helping to reduce the risk of any sort of hard water stains or mineral deposits building up. Bird poo blasts off very easily. That's nice to see. We don't have any sort of etching, but I can see where the residue has kind of clogged the hydrophobics. Again, when we do our contact wash, it should look fine. Our roof and our hood have very nice hydrophobics, just showing us kind of initial hydrophobics like what we saw when we applied it. 
Again, our trunk is showing a lot of clogging, but that is from Road Film Accrual. And last but not least, our hood looks fantastic. The hydrophobics look like the last time I saw it at its one month wash. We're gonna do a contact wash using a couple different soaps. First up is Gion Restart Wash. Now this is a new soap from Gion. It's going to help clean, decontaminate, and restore the hydrophobics of our coating. It's not going to replenish or add anything to it. But even if we have a topper or anything, it's going to really give us a true characteristics of what's going on with this coating. But first up, we're going to do a foaming pre-soak using underdog soap. This is a great maintenance soap. Uh, for this coating, we're going to just let it sit on the vehicle, loosen any remaining dirt that might be on the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and do our intricate areas with our detail brush. And then we're going to let that sit for a few minutes, remove that, and then come in and do our contact wash with the Gion Restart Wash. After doing just even an initial pre-soak, I could see some of the hydrophobics were coming back. We were able to remove some of the road film on there. So you can see here after we did our rinse, we've removed some of that road film. Hydrophobics are kind of coming back. So this is showing me that a lot of this clogging is from road film. So we're gonna go ahead and do our contact wash now, but there are a couple areas that I'm really noticing maybe some weakness or maybe we've got some other issues going on that we're gonna have to address. All right, we just got done with our decon shampoo wash. And let's see where our hydrophobics are at on our panels that had uh, clogging on them. So in rinsing our restart wash off the panels, you can see where it kind of temporarily makes the panel sheeting. That's the residue that we're rinsing off. Once we push that residue off, we can see nice hydrophobics. They've been restored. Our hood looks really nice, tight, fresh hydrophobics. I am seeing some slight issues on certain spots of the vehicle, uh, namely like kind of the curved surfaces where maybe the water uh, is sitting or settling on before it runs off the rest of the panel. And that's making me wonder if there isn't something more going on with this coating. Now, I'm not going to say that the coating is failing. A lot of times if people see hydrophobic starting to fall off on a coating, they're going to immediately just say, oh, it's failing. But a lot of times it can actually get clogged with mineral spots or hard water stains. And that's what I'm actually seeing here. Uh, it's only in specific areas where that water kind of accumulates. You can see our lower panels, we did have some sheeting where it looks like it's been weakened a little bit. And that's where a good maintenance wash is really going to be key with making sure that you knock off any sort of accumulated contaminants on the surface of the vehicle. After talking to the customer, he did say that he maybe washes this every six or seven weeks and that he's only washed this maybe seven to eight times in the past year. So that would lead me to believe that what we're seeing here isn't coating failure, but it's actually something clogging the coating. So we're going to have to go ahead and first chemically approach this before we even think about, oh, it's failed, let's polish and recoat. Let's first do the least aggressive method to address this and we're going to use a chemical to remove the hard water or mineral spots. So what we're going to do is we're going to get WSP, the water spot remover, and we're going to go over We're going to go over all of our painted surfaces. Trim looks nice. But I'm seeing some areas like here and here where it's possible we have hard water staining. Or just some sort of mineral deposit that's kind of causing some issues with the coating. You can see here. So we're going to go ahead and get our WSP. Go over the, the entire painted surfaces of the vehicle. Rinse that and then see where we're at. So we're using Underdog WSP or their water spot remover. This is an acid-based solution. Now I'm battling rain, so I don't have gloves on because I didn't have time to put them on, but typically wear gloves. The panels are still wet and I'm just kind of spraying this into the microfiber, massaging it into the paint, trying to break down those mineral spots. Let's see if this is the trick.
All right, guys, the rain is starting to come down, but we did our WSP water spot remover, and that did the trick. You can see we've got more consistent hydrophobics. I will say there are some areas where it looks like it's getting weakened. We're going to actually use the underdog quick detail as kind of a refresh, but I would say that it's not looking like day one. Trim looks nice. Paint looks nice. We've got really nice gloss and shine. The customer does have well water. We have extremely hard water in this area. So I think that's just where some of the issues have come from because you can see where they wash it. Sometimes it can get direct sun and you're going to have some issues where water spots and minerals can clog up the hydrophobics of your coating. So once we did that decon wash and the water spot treatment, that's where we are seeing really nice hydrophobics. Now I'm going to take one for the team for a second here and we're actually standing out in the rain and you can see we've got really, really nice beating, tight beating on this vehicle as it's kind of sitting out in the rain. The gloss looks fantastic. If I were to come in here, paint is nice and smooth. I don't believe that we need to do any sort of clay bar treatment. That chemical decon wash is really going to help us. So we're going to get this back to the customer before the heavens open up on us. But this is a closer look at Underdog Pro. 14 months later is what you can expect when you use Underdog Pro. Now, that doesn't mean that any coating isn't going to need to be maintained. You could see when we did a high pressure rinse and a foaming pre-soak, we still needed to do a contact wash. So a good contact wash is gonna go a long way and we're gonna be doing regular inspections on this vehicle probably every six months, every year. Uh, for those of you that wanna follow this a little bit more closely. So there you have it, Underdog Pro, 14 months in, what you can expect. I'll put the link for the products that I use down below as far as the decontamination shampoo, the underdog soap, the underdog WSP, and the quick detail for those of you that are looking for products. I'll even put in there the Phoenix EOD, Apex Auto Wash, and the Titan for those of you that want to try it for yourselves. But all guys, all right guys, we're going to keep moving. We'll see you in the next detail. Have a great day. My neighbor said I could do a quick walk around. The gloss off this Jeep is absolutely off the charts. It looks fantastic. I love the paint on this Jeep. I was talking to my neighbor while I was drying it, and I was thinking that he washed it maybe once a month. He actually said he's maybe only washed it about seven times in the last year. And so I think that explains a little bit of what I was seeing as far as the hard water spots and maybe some of the nature of the coating being a little bit clogged or degraded but we did the good decontamination wash we did the hard water spot treatment i showed a couple different ways that you could use the quick detail either spray and rinse or just kind of use it as a drying aid i know this isn't necessarily the most accurate situation because we had rain but if it was a dry day you could kind of spray dry and that's a great way to dry and replenish your coating to keep the performance looking top notch. But all in all, very happy with how this is looking. 
But more than anything, the customer is really happy with how it is performing. He said that when he does clean his vehicle, it's a breeze to do. He's not necessarily a young buck, he said, and so having something that makes his life easier and less stressful, that's a win right there. We've got really nice slick paint still to this date. My personal thoughts, do I think this is gonna last five years? I don't know. If it gets two and a half, three years, I'd be happy, honestly, especially for the price point of what we were able to offer for them. But just food for thought. My final thoughts doesn't mean that's how it is. It, these are all kind of assessments and, and uh, best case scenarios that we can make. But today, 14 months later, coding is doing well and the customer is still happy to this date. No issues to report. So, all right guys, we're gonna keep moving. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions about the coating, about the products that I use, let me know in the comment section down below. We're gonna go dry off and get ready for some smoked brisket. All right guys, have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you later.